Good evening and welcome to the Shoreview Drive uh, Culvert Improvements Project Meeting. This is a 60% uh, uh, plan meeting and I just want to thank you all for participating tonight. Uh, I have a few introductions to make real quickly and then we'll get into our meeting. My name is Michael Wellbaum. I'm the project manager for this project. I work in the city's uh, stormwater capital delivery office. Also have with us tonight, Misty Christian. She is the consulting engineer on this project. She works for Kimley Horn and Associates, and uh, they're the ones responsible for the design and the plans that we are putting together for this project. Um, this will be a pretty, pretty brief meeting, but I'd like to discuss a few things tonight. I wanna give you a little background on the project. We'll talk about project scope, and then uh, most importantly, I wanna point out our traffic control plans at the end, uh, and then we'll take questions. If you have questions, please feel free to put them in the chat window and we will address them at the end of the presentation. So for a little bit of project background, this is a complete replacement of the existing culverts that are at uh, on Shoreview Drive, just to the west of the Bomber Road intersection. Uh, if you're familiar with the area, you've seen uh, flashing lights uh, whenever it whenever it rains and the water gets up. That is a a culvert crossing that is prone to flooding, primarily due to undersized culvert pipes that are there today, and that's what we want to uh, uh, replace with this project. I have a, a short milestone schedule on here. We are planning to complete design in January of 2021 and start the bidding process. We hope to have this project uh, awarded in the spring of 2021, about March or April. And then uh, if everything goes well, we'll start construction in June or July of 2021. Uh, this should be a fairly fast project. We anticipate construction will be complete within about 180 days, or that would put us at December of 2021 based on our current schedule. In terms of scope, what we're planning to do with this project, uh, you'll see on this slide, it's zoomed in at the intersection of uh, Bomber Road and Shoreview Drive. And you'll notice just about in the middle of the screen, you see some blue uh, lines running north and south. Those represent three new 10 by 10 box culverts that will replace the 748 inch pipes that are there today. Along with those culverts, we'll be replacing the uh, headwalls and retaining walls on both the north side and the south side of the roadway. And you'll see on the south side of the roadway, uh, we also have a concrete maintenance ramp that will provide access to the culverts for city maintenance crews uh, to do routine maintenance uh, as needed. You also notice that we're planning to repave the section of road that we're working on. Currently, you see that shown in gray. Those are those are the current limits. We're still working through the designs, so I anticipate those limits may change a little bit, but that's uh, approximately where we'll be repaving the current roadway. On the north and south sides of the roadway, we'll be constructing guardrails uh, to uh, similar to what's there today. And then you may also notice running through that paved area on Shoreview, there's a blue line and an orange line. Those represent water in blue and sewer in orange. Uh, those lines will be replaced as part of this project. During construction, we anticipate that those lines will be taken out of service within the limits of the project. And we will have temporary service connections so that uh, customers on either side of the project won't won't notice an interruption in water or sewer. Uh, those tie-ins and that work, we're planning to have it in the evening or overnight, so the impact will be fairly minimal and brief as they switch over to temporary lines. I mentioned that we're gonna be having, it'll be closing the road during construction, so I wanna talk a little bit about our traffic control plan. Uh, if you're familiar with the area and you live on Shoreview Drive, you know that Silver Creek Road is an alternate way to get from the west to the east or vice versa. Uh, you will not be able to hit, to go east on Shoreview Drive uh, to access the Point Restaurant, for example, or to go to Lockheed Martin. Uh, you'll have to head west to Las Vegas Trail where you can go north or south and then Silver Creek will be, bring you back around. 
Of course, uh, Clifford is another alternative that you could take. Um, if you live in the area, you also know that those roads are under construction right now with some utility work and repaving. We will not start our project until that work is complete, and that work is supposed to be completed well in advance of us starting our construction. So um, we, have to, we have to maintain some access to the west side of Lockheed Martin uh, in discussions that we've had with them. That is the uh, bulk of my presentation tonight. My contact information is on the screen. Again, my name is Michael Wellbaum. You can reach me at telephone number 817-392-7343 or at my email address, michael.wellbaum at fortworthtexas.gov. And with that said, I'll open the floor to any questions. I don't have any questions in the chat window, so that concludes our presentation for this evening. Thank you all for attending.